back guys on today's video hopefully we're gonna get this thing back on the road okay so in the last episode where we left off this whole thing was all apart i still had the noise over here so a lot of work has happened since then i obviously buttoned everything up everything is put back together i got my heat shields on all my stuff on i got my under tray on i also changed the motor mounts okay i went back to all the stock motor mounts um the car was just rattling like crazy uh, and that just drove me nuts i don't really need super hard motor mounts i may i may reinstall the, the the front one okay but for now i'm gonna rock the stock ones okay and i did fix the the tensioner i put back together the bumper there was a bunch of brackets missing a bunch of stuff missing i think in another episode what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of go through everything in detail what i've done to this car because obviously i skimmed through a lot of stuff there's a giant can over here there's a lot of stuff that i just kind of skimmed through all right i got the inside all put back together all cleaned up still needs a detail it's not 100 percent clean but you know, I gave it a good wipe down, cleaned the steering wheel. I used like five rags on the steering wheel and they're all black. So yeah. All right, so one last thing that this car does need to be road safe. All right, it is put back together. It is, the engine is running good and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's registered and insured. So we're good to go on that front. But uh, after that video and after I finished putting everything back together, I, I started driving it around, just kind of like around the block because the car wasn't really registered or insured at that point. Um, so I started driving around the block, but immediately I realized that this suspension is like blown, 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 blown. <laughs> like we hit a little, I hit a little bump and the whole thing just kind of crashes down. Boom, boom. So not really a pleasant thing to drive. Uh, the car itself is not bottoming out. Okay. But I didn't really hit any hard bumps. So I'm sure that if I hit a hard, you know, a bigger bump, then the car would just bottom out. So the, is the front shocks are completely, completely blown out. So luckily, one of the things that I did have left from the gray car after it was totaled was this is uh, a spare suspension, okay? So Jim had given me the car with three sets of suspension. These tanks that, this is actually how he ran the car and he um, got like all those uh, uh, records and stuff like that back in 08 and, and back, way back then. It was, on, it was on the suspension, okay? Uh, the way the car arrived to me was with these uh, Roby Spec KWs, okay? And I also got um, the stock suspension that, that was on that car originally. Once I bought this car, I immediately knew that I was on a budget. Uh, so I went ahead and I sent these out to Tain USA to get uh, service and rebuilt. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and put these on, okay? And finally take this thing out for a spin. All right guys, so I took this one apart, not because I'm gonna do anything with it. I just wanted to show you guys how blown these things are. I Me, mean, look, just by hand. Can you hear that? I don't know if that comes through camera, but I could just hear the fluid sloshing around there. So you shouldn't be able to compress your, your dampers all the way like this. See it? Crazy. So that's why these really had to go. And this is why I would never recommend BC. This car has barely been driven. Maybe that's why they blew because the car just kind of sat on them, but still it's kind of really shitty. Let's see how this goes. We got some heat into it, let's uh, get going. One thing that I didn't mention in other videos is this car already had a, uh, a five-speed swap. Not really sure if it's a stock transmission or gone through, but we'll see. And I, I did put my FE knob that I had before on the, at some point on the gray car. It is kind of quiet because I did put the grandpa exhaust. Uh, this thing had a a gritty uh, TIC exhaust and it would just rattle the whole neighborhood. I actually had some neighbors come to me and be like, uh, you mind not turning that car on in the morning? <laughs> 
So uh, definitely has an Exedi clutch. I think it's an Exedi twin because it's kind of soft. Let's see over here. This little bump, I would right here. I would bottom out. Okay, much better. Much better. All right, let's get out of the neighborhood and uh, let it rip. fourth gear grind oh that, no, that sucks guys I just got a fourth gear grind I felt fine driving around the neighborhood but as soon as I went to um, ref match downshift and I threw it it grinded a little bit that sucks Another thing, I don't know if you can see, but I have a uh, airbag light on, so I'll have to figure that out. Man, I am so, so bummed out about this transmission. Uh, other than that, the car feels really good. Uh, the suspension feels really smooth. The engine feels really smooth. The turbo comes on super strong. Really like it, this, uh, this setup. Uh, it's not fully tuned yet. But, um, I mean, transient response feels as good as that HTA 71 that I had on the, on the uh, gray car. And surprisingly, the alignment is not all jacked, even though I just completely messed with the, the transmission, with the transmission. I completely messed with the uh, suspension. Brakes are, uh, I mean, they're there. I don't know what kind of pads he has it there okay so I just ref mat downshifted to fourth and if I go easy it doesn't grind so probably have some slightly bent fork or slightly messed up synchro so unfortunately I am gonna have to go through the tranny uh, sooner rather than later Yeah, well, this thing comes alive really, really fast. Really happy with that. Oh, we got a fit over here that we got to contend with, but... Yeah, didn't grind there. I mean, for no alignment, good obviously nothing like the gray car the gray car had bushings everywhere and sway bars and caster and all kinds of stuff super gangster suspension those those kws were actually really really gangster but <laughs> for tains and all stock bushings i mean this thing even has all the rear stock bushings it doesn't have it doesn't sound like it and i don't think it has the rear stack uh restack diff because it doesn't make any noise so she pulls really good really good very smooth very happy with the power and obviously the bed is faster but and the brakes are honestly shit but I'm used to super aggressive pads. These are probably like low dust or no dust pads kind of thing. See, I'm just throwing it in fourth and it just goes. So hopefully it continues to get better. Okay, I got some rubbing there. It is sitting really, really low. So I think that is that. It sounded like the tire was touching the, the uh, fender liner. 
But man, this thing uh, pulls really strong. Uh, I'm curious to see what it what it was doing a dyno. Although I don't know that I want that I'm gonna do that. I don't really care. To me, it probably feels a little bit stronger than 450. Not not 500, but in between 450 and 500, I would say probably 460 or so. Okay. Which is not bad for a 25 pound average. Uh, it does spike. Ooh, this uh, spiked like 28 pounds. I think it spikes more on the upshift, especially on the fourth, because I'm having to go really easy on that fourth. It has gotten better, but still, if I throw it really fast, then it just it grinds. But on average, on the logs, I'm seeing about 25 pounds. So, pretty happy with that. I'm almost out of E, so I'm actually gonna go throw some uh, pump gas in this and uh, start working on the pump gas chain. All right, guys, back to home base. There you have it. So not everything is perfect, but I'm still very happy. Bummed out about the tranny. I'm definitely gonna have to go over it. But, you know, such is life when you buy an abandoned Evo that was built, you know, who knows what this thing has been through. But the engine uh, seems solid. Um, you know, the, the, the refresh suspension from Tane, that's, that feels really good. Everything else feels really good. I'm really glad that I, I changed that all those uh, torque solutions. Uh, motor mounts because nothing here rattles this thing was rattling to death when i first started it so uh i don't know that i'm 100 percent happy with the gauges um you know once you had defi it's kind of hard to to go back to something like this um you know i kind of miss not being able to record but i don't really need that the other thing is that i really really uh would like to find a group s in 52 mil do sell them still in the 60 mil but then you gotta use like an adapter ring or something like that and this is not bad but like looking at it from here it always seems that the car is like running 200 degrees it's really not you know what i mean <laughs> uh, I, i'm really happy with the location here for this uh for the y band it's pretty cool i mean it doesn't really block much it blocks is the uh the um odometer right but you know I'm, I'm not looking at that all the time and i can flip this to boost whenever i want um so that's pretty cool and then yeah she's purring man she sounds really good suspension is definitely uh a little too low well let me shut it off so yeah suspension is too low i mean this looks cool but I'm scraping a lot on the front, so I'm definitely gonna raise the front. The rear may be okay, as is, okay. So, the, the front is slammed. <laughs> There's like no fingers there. Looks cool though, uh, but it rides really good. So even without an alignment, it, it rides really good. So, and I'm really happy the way all this turned out. It uh, looks really clean. It doesn't look too much. The popping is the heat chill. I don't know why the heat chill won't stop popping, but every time that I shut off the engine, it just keeps on popping and popping. So I guess things are still getting happy. But anyways, uh, like I said before, I'll probably make another video at some point going over everything that I've done, okay? But we're still not done with this, right? So I just, uh, just kind of slapped the suspension on, right? But these wheels are really beat up. The brakes are really beat up. Um, they're peeling and they're just not up to my par. So we're definitely gonna be going through that. The wheels, I gotta do something with the wheels. And I gotta make a decision whether or not I'm gonna keep the stock brakes or I'm gonna go to a BBK or Evo 10 brakes or something like that. And that would determine what we do with the wheels. And then there's the outside. All right guys, so still a lot of things to do with the Evo, all right? But I'm gonna cut it here. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.